Hey guys, so it is Christmas Day 2014. Um, so any of you that are celebrating today, happy holidays. Um, I've got a bit of a cold right now, so I apologize for any sniffling, coughing, sneezing, hacking that may happen. Um, but I managed to eke out a few minutes, so I wanted to make a chest update video for everyone. So for those of you that don't know, I had a chest revision uh, surgery when I had my last lower surgery uh, sur operation. I'm sorry. I'm also medicated. So uh, anyway, so that was about three months ago. And a little background for those of you that don't know my continuing top surgery saga. Um, I had top surgery when I was four months on testosterone, which was about three years ago. And uh, I did a bunch of research like I do. Um, the doctor I chose, I felt really good about. I chose to have uh, peri surgery. Um, this was from uh, recommendations from the surgeon I chose, said that there wouldn't be any problem with it. I was a great candidate for it, that it would pretty much be a slam dunk. Those are the words the surgeon used. Um, I felt really confident going into it. The surgery didn't turn out well at all. It turned out really bad. In fact, it, it looked terrible. So I did what I do in circumstances like that. I did everything I could do. So I worked on building up my chest, you know, to try to fill out the extra skin. Um, the nipples just were weird. They were in a weird, the location was weird. They looked weird. One of them had gotten an infection. And the, the worst part for me was that they weren't symmetrical. So not only did they look bad, but they didn't look bad in the same way. One looked weird this way, and one looked weird that way, and it just wasn't working for me. So a year after that original surgery, I went in and had a revision with the same surgeon. And to her credit, she did it for free. Um, so I went in, I had the revision, and, you know, there was just a... I don't want to get into all the, the details about the... The things that I didn't like about the surgeon. I'm not here to badmouth surgeons, but I am here to be honest about my experiences. Um, there were a, a few things that bothered me about that visit um, and continue to bother me about that visit. But anyway, the revision happened. Uh, I went home and I gave it a few months to heal and it ended up looking pretty much the same as it did before, which was really frustrating because the surgeon I chose was all the way across the United States from where I live. And so it was a big deal. I mean, the first time we went, my wife was pregnant. And the second time we went, we had a little baby. And it just was, neither trip was an easy trip. So that was frustrating. So then I spent another year of time trying to build up my chest, thinking like, okay, I can fill out this skin, you know, and maybe make them look more symmetrical. But it didn't matter what I did. I could not, like, my chest muscles are, you can't tell from here, but, like, from the side, when you, like, they've got some pretty pretty good pecs going on. I, I couldn't fill out the extra skin. It just wasn't happening. And uh, I was really frustrated with this because I had not yet been out in public without a shirt on. I wasn't comfortable to do that. And I know lots of you, you know, that knew I was going in for this uh, second revision were like, What's wrong with you? Your chest looks great. Well, it, it didn't. And first of all, don't tell people stuff like that because it's all a matter of a person's personal perspective. If I feel like I look funny, then that's my prerogative. And the second thing to that is, you know, I felt like I should be showing my chest because I had the opportunity and privilege to get the surgery. A lot of guys don't, but I had to go to great lengths to make my chest look decent enough for me to post it on the internet, you know, because I felt, because of the haters, number one, and number two, it was just, it's embarrassing to come out of a surgery and have it be bad. So, um, I went to great lengths via lighting and such to make my chest look good enough to be on the internet. Um, now I don't have to do that, you know? So I had a second revision with Dr. Crane and I couldn't be happier. I have, of course, the scars that I was dreading, but you know what? Scars fade, scars heal. It's, what, three months post-op? They're already starting, you know, to improve. 
Um, what I had going on was never going to get any better. So I'm really happy with my chest. It's tight. The skin is tight. You know, the nipples are in the right spot. The sc I do have some raised scarring here, but I'm working on that. Um, but, it, you know, it's tight from the side. My pecs actually show. There's no sagginess going on. So I'm really ecstatic with it. Poor Dr. Crane. You know, he went in there. He charged me a revision price for it, but he ended up spending as much time as he would have if I had had the original surgery because there was so much scar tissue he had to cut and hack out of my chest. Um, <coughs> so, I mean, really to his credit that he could make it look like this from what it was. And I'll just go ahead and post, uh, I'm going to post pictures now of uh, the first picture is going to be the, well, I'll just post that up there and talk you through it. Um, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to pop back up, up on screen afterwards. So, um, just once again, happy holidays to everyone and have a great year. Here's these pictures. Okay. So that first video is about one year post-op my original surgery. As you can see, both sides looked, look messed up in their own special way. The, well, it, it's actually the right side, but to you, it looks like the left side. Um, <clears throat> is really droopy. There's a big indent where too much tissue was taken out of the chest. Uh, the skin is pretty saggy. The nipple, it looks, it looks okay. Not great. And then the other side, um, aesthetically, it's a little more pleasing because it doesn't have the big indent where too much tissue was taken, but the nipple became infected and then I actually lost the bottom part of the areola. Um, and then of course you do see some of the extra skin there. Um, so just overall, not ex not at all what I was expecting. The second picture, the middle picture, is roughly a year post-op my revision. Um, so there, there were some improvements, um, but I feel like the improvements were for from me working my chest out. Uh, she did insert some fat into the left side from your perspective um, to try to fill that out a little more and that did that did definitely help still uh, even after the revision there's tons of excess skin um, the nipples look weird the placement of the nipples uh, not the surgeon's fault you kind of get what you get when it comes to nipple placement but overall the product is not not at all aesthetically pleasing and, and nothing I felt comfortable going out in public with. The third picture is about three months, well I just took this before I made this video, three months post-op from my revision with Dr. Crane. Uh, no extra skin, he did the nipple grafts and moved the nipples into a more male position. Uh, I do have the large visible scars of course but those will fade with time. The scars are nice and straight, they're symmetrical, and uh, I was particularly pleased that he was able to keep them out of the middle of my chest. So they, you know, they start a couple inches to the side of the middle of my chest and then continue on. Overall, I'm really, really happy with this last revision. Um, and I know I said I, I wasn't going to be back after I showed you these pictures, but I do just have a couple more things to say, so let me just end this recording and start another one. All right, and just one last thing to say before I end this video. Um, what would I do differently? Everything um, from the from the beginning. I wouldn't have chose the I wouldn't have chosen the surgeon I chose, um, and not not just because I had Perry and I probably should have got double incision. There's a, a few other reasons I wouldn't have chose chosen the surgeon uh, that I chose. Um, if any of you want to know more about that, you can private message me. I'm not going to advertise that here. Um, as for Perry, would I choose it again? Absolutely not. Even though my doctor, my surgeon told me that I was a great candidate for Perry, I wouldn't, I wouldn't choose it again. Um, the pain and suffering of coming out of a surgery and it, I mean, psych psychologically I'm talking, um, is, is awful, you know, to come out of a surgery, have all these expectations and then for it to go so wrong twice, it's really psychologically difficult. 
and you know, like I said, you know, I was trying to get away from the scars, but with the results I got from Perry, it was never going to improve, and the scars will, in time, improve. For those of you guys considering uh, getting Perry or Keyhole, I would really, you know, weigh the option heavily. There are definitely some of you that, you know, come out of uh, the surgery with these phenomenal results. What I've learned post-op from Perry, though, is this. Most of us who had bad Perry surgeries are not talking about it. And, and I know that for sure, because when I was researching uh, getting a keyhole or Perry surgery, all, all I saw, or most of what I saw, were really great results. But after I started talking about not having great results, trans men came out of the woodwork to talk to me about it and say, yeah, my results were really crappy too. This and that and this and that happened. And I just feel like, you know, there's a, the perception of the amount of good results from the surgery are really askew because of that. And I'm not blaming anyone. It is hard to talk about when a surgery goes bad. So those of you that are, are considering it, you know, really talk about it with your surgeon, with your doctor, really do some, some good research on the subject. Because, I mean, I get not wanting the scars, but the scars are a hundred times better than having a botched surgery. So, you know, both surgeries are great surgeries, but the percentage of us that are actually the right candidates for peri surgery at this stage in the in the in the game where the you know where the when it comes to where the surgical surgical techniques are, I, it's 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 a small percentage. So just keep that in mind when you're doing your research. I uh, I made a mistake. I shouldn't have chosen peri. Um, I don't want any of you to go through that if you don't have to. So that's all I have to say about that. Um, I'm stoked and happy with my chest. I can't wait. We're going to uh, Hawaii in a couple of months, and I can't wait to actually sport the chest I've been waiting for. So something for me to look forward to. All right, guys, this is getting lengthy. I'll talk to you later. Bye.